Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. As winter draws near, Manchester officials seek space for emergency homeless shelter. It's back to the drawing board in Manchester as officials seek a space for an emergency homeless shelter for the winter. We've run into a lot of roadblocks in terms of landlords not wanting to have a shelter in their building and then buildings not meeting the criteria, said Democrat Mayor Joyce Craig. Privately owned properties are not off the table, but city buildings, including the JFK Coliseum, are being looked at as existing opportunities after a Pearl Street building that the fire department and families in transition New Horizon were eyeing was abruptly purchased. We did not want to recommend JFK, and when the Pearl Street building came up, that again met the criteria. So that was what we had moved forward with, Craig said. The Pearl Street location was bought by real estate developer Ben Gamchi, who said he has plans for the building, but offered up space in one of his other properties on the West Auburn Street for a shelter. City officials say the West Auburn Street is not suitable for shelter. With the pandemic taking its toll, space is limited in existing shelters to allow for distancing and there is an increase in the homeless population. The fire chief estimates upwards of 400 homeless in the city currently. Craig said that without an emergency shelter, there will only be around 150 beds by the end of the year. But what we want to do is have another full shelter available so people can stay in during the day, during night and get help that they need, hopefully to find housing by the time this cold weather is done, she said. The mayor said if the city goes with a location that is part of its emergency operations plan, families in transition New Horizon and the fire department can move forward, but if it's not in that plan. Approval is required by the Board of Mayor and Aldermen. And that is it for this morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye, everyone.